We are ready to begin. Are you? Are you knowing what you're looking for here? Focus on that. Bring it to your mind, especially if you feel easy about it. If it's urgent, try not to think about it. But just give a soft, easy focus to what you're looking for. And it activates a vibration in you that specifically attracts from this gathering what you want you get to do that of course you have to chill so you can get it the room will be thick with it but you have to let it in don't you oh this law of attraction thing is so real and active all the time responsive all the time it's like the field of gravity that you know how that affects you you don't question it either and you don't test it you understand it and you move about in it understanding how it works you don't step off tall buildings and the law of attraction is like that only more it's ever present it's ever responsive and when you move into it you can't move out of it but when you move into a new segment of it like walking into this room or getting into your vehicle or anything where something changes a little when you enter what we are wanting you to think of as this atmospheric field of response from the law of attraction what you've got going on which really means what you believe which really means what you believe and of that which you believe is active in this moment because what you believe is not active in every moment you believe a lot sometimes something triggers it someone's having a bad moment and they're rude to you and it triggers something that makes you feel not loved now you've got an active vibration going on and even though most likely that person's response had nothing to do with you you got triggered and now you got something active and now as you're stepping into this energy field this responsive law of attraction field others memories thoughts people experiences that match precisely that active vibration that you're emanating show up you notice them you just do Esther's been reaching for herself for ways to explain it because she's just so hot on this idea of this responsive energy field to which she is entering she's walking in with her bag of marbles meaning what she believes or what's active within her right now and just for fun she's been thinking about them being like metal marbles that are attracted to others that are like and so she's been saying to herself a lot lately when she walks into a restaurant or when she calls a friend or whenever she enters a new segment she's been thinking what's active in my bag of marbles right now what have I got active because she knows the law of attraction unquestioningly and without judgment will match others that are there up with these marbles some years ago the analogy that we were offering we ask you because this law of attraction thing matters to you it's the thing that matters more than all other things put together your point of attraction is uniquely yours and you can control your life within the field of law of attraction but you got to know what you're doing you got to know what you're doing and how what you're doing feels when you're doing what you really mean to do and how what you're doing feels when you're not doing what you really mean to feel in other words are you living your moments deliberately or by default are you having knee-jerk reactions all over the place almost everybody is almost everybody does at some point or another but what are you doing about what you're attracting from others because it's so easy to say they did that to me they responded to me in that way Uh, -uh. not like that you've got something active that the law of attraction is matching up and now it's matched up we get why you associate it with them because they contributed to it but you're always in an atmosphere where someone's contributing to something and you want to be so sure 
of what you've practiced that you are attracting on purpose so some years ago our description we said imagine a light board you know a light board like with those little LED lights and there are lots of them it's a big board about the size of this platform and you walk in to this field of attraction which in this analogy is this light board and whatever's active within you how you feeling what you thinking feeling a little sorry for yourself right now feeling eager about what's next how you feeling a lot of people don't feel deliberately they just respond to what's going on so however it is that you're offering a vibration when you walk into this energy field everything that matches you lights up and there might be hundreds of thousands of lights on this board but only the ones that match you light up for you and that's your conversation that's your memory from the past that's what your world is and what is so important for you to understand it's so exciting for you to understand is that what lights up really is your current self-interest it's what you got going on and you yourself matters in this universe and this universe responds to you so it all lights up wanted or unwanted good bad or ugly whatever you got going on lights up and that's your moment in time might even be your whole damn day that's what lights up so as it lights up and you take note of what you're matching up to because nothing comes to you that you're not offering a vibration about so sometimes you didn't even know you were doing that until it matched up and you saw ha ah, ha I did that when us began all those years ago learning about the law of attraction when something really great would happen she'd say I did that and when something not so great would happen she'd say I did that too I did that too I have noticed a trend coming up over and over and over and it's time that I just want to get over it okay so I've noticed a point of attraction I've noticed that I've got some marbles that must be active because they keep attracting something you want or something you don't want something I don't think I want all right what are you gonna do about picking other marbles we know that you knew it even before you got here but you really know it now that nothing comes to you that is not vibrationally active so the easy sort of not very satisfying answer is just don't put marbles in your bag that attract that but you got to figure out what those marbles are and the way you figure that out is when the feeling comes up you're doing it now when the feeling comes up you're doing it now when the feeling comes up you're doing it now so can you connect those dots when that feeling comes up what kinds of things are you doing well I'm forgetting faces and names of clients because my husband and I work with a lot of people and we have our own upholstery company and I work for a retail fabric store where a lot of my we get a lot of customers I book a lot of work and I'll, I'll have worked with them before and they'll come into the store and they'll just have that look in their eye like we've had a whole conversation about their entire house what it looks like I've probably helped them decorate quite a few things and I just don't remember them and I want to start anchoring their faces and then move on to their names but here's the thing did you hear us earlier this is so important did you hear us earlier talking about calibrating to your inner being and you're doing that often your inner being doesn't give a rip what their name is <laughs> <laughs> that's how sometimes I feel and I feel bad but think about this if you're calibrating to them now do you think that they want the same thing from you now that they got from you before no or, they're, they're they need a new project yeah they're new in the now so they're presenting okay. themselves to you and the more you anchor to who they were the less you are able to receive the inspiration to take them to match up with what they put into their vortex does that make sense to yeah. you? yeah some years ago Jerry and Esther met a language teacher and she was teaching adults at night some languages very excited about it and Jerry asked her do you have a special way of going about that she said as a matter of fact I do interesting you picked up on something she said when they get their 
we assign them a new name, a new place of birth, a new identity, really. You do this for a living and you are single. New person and everybody in the group only learns them as their new identity. And those people learn languages so much faster than normal people because the people around them who have marbles about them now have different marbles than they're used to having things evoked from them. Does that make sense to you? Thank God I thought my bag had a hole in it. <laughs> Your bag doesn't have a hole in it. It's inspired connection and co-creation on new levels. When Esther can't remember something that she wants to remember, like she'll think of someone whose name she can't remember. She can see their face, she can't remember their name. And then she'll think, who else she knew at the same time? And she'll say, do I remember their names? Often she remembers their names and then she remembers that name. But we're not encouraging her to do that because we're not encouraging you to spend so much time in your past. We're really encouraging you to spend more time in your now with this person that's before you now. And so you might just know that so clearly that you might say, you know, I got this thing that's going on with me where all of my clients and a lot of them are old timers. I've been dealing with them a long time, but I'm trying to look at all of them as brand new right now. So forgive me if I forget your name. In fact, I'm forgetting almost everybody's name because I'm so wanting to be in the now with you. What are you looking for? I think that's exactly how that, I handle it every time. Oh, that's the perfect. That's right with the Lord. That's what you're being inspired to say. That's what you're being inspired to say. And did you notice we don't ask for your name? We're not going to remember your name. We know your energy. But you know what's interesting? We're not going to remember your energy either because we're going to meet you in your now every time you get into this hot seat. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Really good. Memory is misunderstood. You don't have a storage cabinet. You are transmitting and receiving mechanism. Have you noticed that sometimes you have such clarity? It's like you can remember everything that you've ever thought about a thing. Well, that's because it's important to you now. And your inner being is actively feeding it to you. Don't fret over not being able to remember. Instead, focus on what's active in your bag of marbles right now. And the more you compare your bag of marbles with your inner being's bag of marbles, the more whole you'll be in any moment and the more valuable you'll be for everyone that you're interacting with. Yeah, really good. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Really good, really good, really good. She's not easy to forget, is she? You want to know her name? You want to know her business, though, don't you? You want her to plan stuff for you. We're not going to, we're not going to. So. It's really interesting, isn't it? How tied you are to things that you have no control over and how vague things that really matter are to most of you. Do you feel different now than when you came? You feel more like you want to tend to your bag of marbles? Do you feel more empowered? Do you trust the law of attraction more? Do you trust yourself more? Does it make what's coming feel more? You want it more? Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next